Do you like milk? You probably do. But do you love it in your fragrances? Well, today I'm going to give you some fragrances that contain milk in their uh, composition. And these are lactonic fragrances. Let's start with the first one, because it's a very polarizing scent from what I've seen around uh, the online. And this is from the house of Orto Parisi, and it's called Seminalis. In my honest opinion, an amazing scent. Great quality scent made by um, Alessandro Guattieri, the nose behind Orto Parisi, and also the house of Masomato. This is a fragrance that contains lactonic accords, but it also contains a very beautiful sandalwood combined with uh, some secretion from women, a secretion that um, occurs during a sexual uh, act. And this is why this scent is considered to be polarizing, because it's uh, somewhat in the same vein with uh, Secretion Magnifique from the house of Etat Libre d'Orange. But this is about a beautiful milky sandalwood, milky creamy sandalwood. The quality is simply amazing, the performance is outstanding, and the lactonic ingredient in this composition is simply gorgeous. So if you love milk in your fragrances, here's one in fragrance for you to test out and why not to enjoy it. Seminalis from Orto Parisi. And because I've mentioned this fragrance earlier, here comes Secretion Magnifique. Yes, this fragrance contains milk, but it also contains adrenaline accord. It also contains blood accord. It also contains semen. It also contains sandalwood and iris. Therefore, again, a very interesting concoction, a very artistic interpretation, and uh, this is probably the most hated scent ever created. But I'm not the one hating on this one, because I truly love it, I truly appreciate it, I truly enjoy wearing it, because this is such a beautiful artistic interpretation. Yes, it's polarizing. Yes, it isn't everyone's cup of tea. Yes, it may uh, give you headaches, I don't know. It may uh, want to make you throw up, but that's your problem. It's not the fragrance's problem. The fragrance is uh, absolutely gorgeous interpreted and uh, it's very unique at the same time. You won't smell this one on any other people or at least on very few people compared to the vast majority of fragrances available on the market. This is why it's so unique. It is a fragrance for a more mature audience, for experienced consumers. This isn't a fragrance for younger crowds. This isn't a fragrance for uh, unexperienced consumers. This isn't a fragrance for those uh, who enjoy wearing cheap designer fragrances and have no idea about what niche means and uh, what niche interpretations mean also. Secretion Magnifique is a beautiful, truly unique, mesmerizing, fascinating creation from the house of Etal Divre d'Orange. And the milky accord inside this one is very potent. And uh, basically, I consider it to be the culprit for um, this fragrance behaving so well on my skin. I don't know on other people's skin, it isn't my problem to each its own, but to me, Secretion Magnifique is a very, very good fragrance. Let's go to the next one, and the next one comes from the house of uh, Map of the Heart. This is a very beautiful scent, and uh, you need to love and appreciate the artwork in this bottle, which is simply crazy. It's a um, like the creator or the designer of this bottle said, I'm uh, holding your heart in my uh, in my arm. But you get milk inside the V4, because this is V4. You get also saffron, you get cinnamon, you get peach, you get rose oil, you get cedarwood, you get musk. So, quite a compelling composition. But the main accord here is given by the combination between saffron, cinnamon, milk and sandalwood. Australian sandalwood, to be more precise which is uh, very, very nice. This is a woody, spicy, lactonic fragrance in which the milk accord is, um, if you want, very warm. It's very alluring, it's very relaxing, very comfortable, and together with the sandalwood gives you the impression of creaminess. Very good performance with uh, V4 from uh, the map of the heart. A very underrated house, and uh, to be honest, this is a very underrated fragrance. This is quite unisex, so I don't see any problem in uh, males or females wearing this one. Give it a try, I highly recommend it. Let's go to the next one, and the next one comes from the house of Carner Barcelona. And this is one of my favorite fragrances from their um, lineup, it's called Palo Santo. And Palo Santo is very interesting because uh, you have that uh, milk note inside, but you also get some other ingredients, and um, I just want to remind you a couple of them. For example, get a very interesting rum note, you also get uh, Artemisia. 
you also have guayacud and tonka bean you also have vanilla vetiver and again sandalwood as you can see in all these fragrances <laughs> one of the main ingredients or one of the main um, accords is given by this combina combination between milk and sandalwood and again this is uh, somewhat creamy lactonic creamy woody but this time around you also get some booziness coming from um, the wrong note and also some uh, aromatics from the artemisia very very good performance with palo santo i would see this one uh, although it's marketed as unisex um, leaning mostly to the masculine side of things mainly because of those um, let's say uh, boozy notes and also the woody notes but nonetheless a very beautiful creation from this house which i highly highly appreciate and i highly recommend you to discover because it's simply amazing i have a lot of fragrances from this house a spanish house but um, their quality is simply top notch palo santo from carner barcelona let's go to the next one and this is uh, the embodiment of uh, summer but uh, i wouldn't actually wear this one throughout summer this is a fragrance for those of you who love tropical fragrances this is a fragrance for those of you who love uh, let's say uh, coconut for example but you have uh, a lot of milk in this one and it's called coco figue from the house of contorsil pacific truly beautiful amazing incredible coconut milky scent you get a lot of coconut in this one but you also get fig you also have vanilla and vanilla flower you get coconut milk you get fig leaf and of course you get regular milk therefore this is a very creamy lactonic coconutty fragrance i love wearing this one especially in winter time especially when it's really cold outside mainly because it makes me think about summer vacation summer holiday it uh, makes me think about uh, my next uh, holiday it makes me think about a tropical island for example and um, this is why i love this scent of course it's very very high quality i have no complaints here because i've seen a lot of people complaining about the fragrances from contours to pacific i never had any problems with their fragrances and in uh, particular with uh, coco figue if you love coconut this is a fragrance that you need to try at least to try it also if you love vanilla and also if you love milk or lactonic notes inside your fragrances an amazing composition with uh, beast performance apply with caution and the last one in this list comes from the house of serge lutens and it's one of my favorite fragrances from this house and it's called dent de lait this time around we don't get uh, let's say your typical milk uh, note inside because here you have aldehydes, you have um, blood accord or metallic notes, you also get mass, and this is a very cold fragrance. Think about a uh, metal pole in winter time that's uh, frozen. This is how this fragrance smells and feels upon applying on skin. I simply love it, especially in hot summer days, because it's so refreshing. It's ice cold, if you want. And who doesn't want during those uh, very hot summer days? to feel cooler, to feel uh, refreshed, to feel elegant and uh, to feel good in general. This is what Dent de Lay manages to do to me every single time that I wear this fragrance during hot days. But I wore this one also in winter time, in extreme cold days, and it simply works flawlessly. It even accentuates, if you want, the coolness, the overall coolness of this fragrance. Such a beautiful creation, simplistic, not overly complicated linear but very powerful and very long lasting so if you love metallic notes if you love aldehydes if you love um, milky notes in uh, fragrances this is one for you to try out so these are pretty much uh, all my uh, milky or lactonic fragrances that i have in my collection i did include here other um, i don't know coconut milky fragrances or uh, uh, fig milky fragrances because uh, I wanted only to talk about fragrances that contain the real milk. So these are the ones that I have in my collection. I love them. I appreciate them. Everyone, it's very good when it comes to performance. Every fragrance is basically unisex, so you can try it out and wear it. But as always, I have to remind you to test the fragrances before you go ahead and blind buy them at full bottle. They are expensive fragrances. I don't recommend you blind buying. Go ahead, purchase a sample, a decant. Try it out on your skin. Wear it a couple of times. See how it performs. See if you like it. 
and only afterwards, based on your own conclusions, go ahead and purchase a food bottle. All I can do is to give you my experience with these fragrances, experience based on uh, multiple uh, months or years of wearing these fragrances. Therefore, my purpose is to give you information about what we expect from the fragrances, nothing more. I'm not trying to convince you to go ahead and blind buy it, to purchase it. That is your decision to make. It's your money. You decide what to do with your money. As always, my friends, thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one. Be safe. Be good. Peace.